Settings are widely regarded as one of the most important parts of elevating your gameplay. In the background, you can see just how well settings can affect your aim in Fortnite, and today, I'll be going over these exact settings you see being used in the video. In fact, these settings are so perfect for aiming that they are deemed aimbot settings. And for the holidays, every single video, I'm giving away a Christmas themed skin from the item shop. To enter, simply use code ending gamertag in the item shop, and then comment down below your epic account name once doing so. That's all you have to do when you're automatically entered for the giveaway. So to not waste any time, I'll be going over the settings, explaining each setting individually. This way you don't just see the settings and replicate them, but you also have a deeper understanding of the concept of these settings. This way you know a bit more on how to use them efficiently and really can have, well, aimbot on controller Fortnite. So first off in the settings, we need to explain before anything else is the look input curve. This setting in particular is rather controversial because for quite a long time, players swore by linear look input curve and then over the past several months, players began to fall back onto exponential, saying exponential is a better overall setting. Well, when it comes to lock on aim, or in other words, aimbot aim, Linear just makes sense, so Linear will allow you to have snappy movements, which helps with flick shots, it also has less of an input delay, meaning the second you move your right analog stick, the game will aim in that direction. Exponential doesn't necessarily abide by the same laws. Exponential is better for players that go for smoothness, but it inarguably will hinder your aim, so most of the competitive players you watch and look up to likely use Linear. Now, I should preface by saying that Exponential does feel more comfortable in the sense that most beginner players would likely have a hard time switching away from it. But once you break through and you begin to realize the truth about Linear, everything becomes much easier in Fortnite, aim being the most important factor. So yes, these quote unquote aimbot settings are completely built around Linear as the look input curve. So before you do literally anything else, switch your look input curve from exponential to linear because this is probably the most important part of this entire video. Now to go over each setting besides the look input curve, we're going to start with the build mode sensitivity multiplier and edit mode sensitivity multiplier. These two in particular obviously don't affect your aim, but still overall it will affect your gameplay. So for me personally, I have found that 1.9 for both of these have suited my needs perfectly and if anything, well, you can obviously change it to your own personal preference. And then going down is going to be our advanced look sensitivity settings. This in particular will affect when you're not aimed down sights. So when you're hip firing, particularly with like shotguns, SMGs, well this is what this will affect. So this is actually incredibly important, especially for close range battles. When using something like a charged shotgun, you're not typically aiming, you're usually just hip firing and praying that your bullets land on the opponent's head. Well, these are the best settings for that in particular. So the look horizontal speed as well as the look vertical speed are both going to be set to a 52% and then the turning horizontal horizontal boost as well as turning vertical boost are going to be matched at a 5% with a 0.05 seconds of turning boost ramp time. Now the reason we use turning boost opposed to none at all, while most players don't really use these, competitive players in particular, but the reason we do is because although linear look input curve is amazing and definitely one of the most important factors of this video, it can be a bit overwhelming at times, especially starting out. So to put just about a 5% turning boost for these settings, well it kind of takes away that overwhelming factor. It makes so our aims a bit better than if we weren't using boost and overall just makes it a bit more comfortable. So that's pretty much the reasoning why we have a 5% turning horizontal and vertical boost if you were wondering. If they're not moving down, it's going to be our advanced aim down sight sensitivity or ADS. In other words, this is when you are aim down sights or holding left trigger. Now this is pretty much the clip you guys saw at the beginning of the video. This is what's going to affect when you're aim down sights and shooting a player likely in the distance. So our ADS look horizontal and vertical speed are both going to be set to a 10%, with an ADS turning horizontal boost as well as ADS turning vertical boost matched at a 6%, and then lastly an ADS turning boost ramp time of 0.1 zero seconds. So again, the same exact thing applies as I already explained why we're using turn and boost for these settings as well. And these are a bit low, but honestly, these ADS settings are actually perfectly matched up with a player's speed. And what I mean by this, well, say for example, you're playing in a game and you see someone like medium range in front of you and they're running full speed, either at you or from side to side, it doesn't necessarily matter. Well, when you're aimed down sights and you're trying to take a shot on them, these ADS sensitivity settings are actually matched up perfectly with a player's speed. So you'll pretty much be locked onto them while they're sprinting. Like your crosshair will literally be on their body the entire time, allowing you to land pretty much every single shot that you take that Bloom doesn't really mess up. So that's why these ADS settings in particular are probably the best ever, and although my settings overall are definitely subject to change in the future, these likely will never see a change at all. 
again because these are perfectly matched up with the player speed and honestly no matter what you do to them they're never going to be better than these settings alone so that is why these are absolutely the best ads sensitivity settings and definitely the core for these aimbot settings Going below this, of course, we've already discussed the look input curve, and the look dampening time is going to be set to a 0.00 seconds. This is pretty much the same thing as turning boost, and since we use turning boost, well, this isn't necessarily needed. Hence why we have it all the way down. Aim assist strength should always, always be at 100%. If it's anything lower, and for whatever reason, please do yourself the favor and raise it all the way to 100%. I promise you guys, you will automatically see a drastic difference. So that doesn't necessarily need to be said, but who knows, maybe someone out there unfortunately did not have their set up 100% setting. And then next, at the very bottom of the sensitivity settings is going to be our dead zones. For the left stick dead zone, this doesn't necessarily make a difference at all, however I use a 5%. And then the right stick dead zone, well, this is going to be obviously the most important part. Your right analog stick obviously controls everything from aiming, editing, building, I mean, truthfully, this is very important. So for the right stick dead zone, I recommend you lower it from a 20% down to a 10%. What this does is it actually makes the game react a bit quicker. And you can read the setting description if you'd like, but overall, basically, when you lower it, the game's just going to react a bit quicker when you move your right analog stick. And lowering it just gives us a lot more control over everything, quicker movement, snappier movement, I mean, truthfully, this obviously makes you a way better player, faster and more advanced in not only just your movements, but also your aim, editing, building. So basically everything the right analog stick affects, you'll see an increase in performance. Now, although that's obviously like the main part of the aimbot settings, all the sensitivity settings were just packed in in those few minutes. I know a lot of people always want to know what keybinds I use as well, and these are obviously some of the best keybinds in my personal opinion. In fact, Faceway uses the exact same keybinds. So what I use is I use a custom Builder Pro, and Y or Triangle is going to be binded to Edit. Left analog stick clicked in, otherwise known as L3, is going to be binded to Toggle Pickaxe. And then for the last keybind change I have made is that my Confirm for editing is set to Left Trigger or L2. So once again, Y or Triangle is binded to Edit. Left analog stick clicked in is binded to toggle pickaxe, and then to confirm my edits, I use L2 or left trigger. Those are the keybinds that I use. Faceway also uses the exact same ones, I think just slightly different. So obviously it goes without saying that these settings are beyond vouched for. And well, believe it or not, those are the aimbot settings. Go ahead and give these a try, and again, as I mentioned, especially if you're an exponential player switching over to linear, these settings are going to be drastically different. It's going to be very, very, very hard to get used to, but give yourself maybe like two or three hours of games Time, and you will likely be so comfortable with them and landing so many shots that you won't even think to change your settings ever again. And if I'm being honest, I credit a lot of my performance increase in the past like year and a half to these settings alone. So again, although these settings are subject to change in the future, you never know, these are currently the best settings for AIM in particular when it comes to controller Fortnite. Now, if you guys enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, a like would be beyond appreciated down below. And of course, on the contrary, if you genuinely disliked today's video, then feel free to leave a dislike as well. And if you're new around here and would like to see more daily Fortnite content like this in the future, feel free to subscribe as well as turning on those post notifications. And to further support the channel, make sure to use support or creator code ending dash gamer tag in the item shop. Nonetheless, my name is ending gamer tag. Thank you all for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.